Hey everyone, if you've been wanting to get your very own subscribe button that does something like this, today I'm going to show you how to do it. Hey everyone, welcome to Shelly Saves the Day on my channel. I do tech explained simply and video editing made easy. So I had gotten a question in the past about how do I make a custom subscribe button or just a subscribe button in general. And today I'm going to show you how to do that because it's not that complicated or difficult. It just takes a minute and once you have rendered the file, you can use it over and over again as a little movie file in any of your projects. So today let's show you how to make your very own custom animation for a subscribe button. And for this, we are first going to open up Keynote. So let's go ahead and get started. Make sure that when you open a new project in Keynote, you do select wide at the top so that will match the aspect ratio. And then go ahead and delete the stuff that's on the page when you select any random one. And then we're going to do a color fill of the background color and you wanna choose like either a green or a blue. So I'm gonna go ahead and go with neon green and that is perfect. Next thing I'm gonna do, I'm gonna import my subscribe button that I just downloaded off of Google as a PNG. I was going to download an arrow off of Google, but then I decided that there are shapes inside of Keynote already, so I'm just gonna go ahead and select one from up here, and then I'm going to change it in the formatting menu so that the arrow is white. One last thing is I'm gonna go on to the arrange, and I'm just gonna go ahead and rotate this 90 degrees so that the arrow is pointing upwards. And then because my arrow is a little large, I'm just gonna go ahead and shrink it down a little bit so it's a bit smaller. All right, moving on to action, we're gonna go ahead and hit the animate button and then we're gonna add an effect. Go ahead and play around with these. And there's move and blink and bounce. And I wanted mine to move. So I'm gonna go ahead and do an action. I'm gonna put that in there and just kind of place the arrow because I want it to go to the left. So I will move that action and then you can preview it and you can see the arrow moves to the left as expected. Then I'm going to add an additional action so that after it goes to the left, it then travels upwards. So I will hit add action and it will give me another arrow box and then I will add the action where it goes upwards. So now when you preview the action, it is going to have an arrow that scoots first to the left and then moves upwards, which is exactly what I want. And then I was careful to place the arrow so that it overlaps the subscribe button just a little bit. Next, I'm gonna select the build order. I'm gonna first have my subscribe button drop and then it is going to have the arrow move from the left and then upwards. So this is where you can do a lot of cool effects. You can add spins, you can add you know, the crumble effect. You can do whatever you want to that you like. After we're done with all of this, what we wanna do is we're gonna go up to the file, export, export as video file. And the reason we wanna do this is because Keynote will allow you to export a video file, which you can then drag into iMovie to use in any of your projects. Make sure that you do select 1080p instead of 720 because you do want it to match the aspect ratio of your video file. Then again, if you're shooting in 720p, go ahead and leave it at that. Next, I'm gonna fire up iMovie. I'm going to go ahead and select my clip where I am talking about the subscribe button, and then you're gonna see where I'm gonna drag in my subscribe button animation. Now, my subscribe button animation was actually a lot longer than I expected it to be. Um, I wasn't paying attention to how long each of those actions was taking, so I actually just hit Command R and sped up the whole clip so it was super short and got to the point. So what you're gonna see is a green video file on the top of your movie clip that you want to insert the green screen object. Then you have to go up to the menu and select the option for green blue screen. So now you're gonna see the subscribe button animation is happening as expected, but it's happening in the middle of the screen. So here is one thing that you can do. You can either go back to Keynote and you can change the placement so you know where the subscribe button should be, it is not currently possible to do green, blue screen and resize and overlay, but here is one thing that you can do. You're gonna select the green, blue screen because you have to so that the background you see is of your video and you have your subscribe animation on top. And then what you're gonna do is we're gonna go up to the crop menu and using the crop menu tool, what we can do, instead of a fit, we are going to use the crop to fill. And then when you scooch down on the edges, you can see that you're actually going to, you're actually gonna be zooming in and making the subscribe button larger, but you're gonna be able to place it somewhere else on the screen, if that makes sense. So if I want it to be in that right-hand side, then I have to scoot it over. And now you see that the subscribe button, even though it's larger, is still on the right-hand side. But oops, I made a mistake here and I'm pointing at the opposite side, right? 
So now we have to go in and fix it. We're just gonna change that crop to fill again. And instead of it being on the right side, we're gonna change it so that it's on the left side. Now you may be asking, what if I just do a picture in picture? And I wanna show you what happens if you do that. What you're gonna see is not only a fade in, fade out, but the entire screen is going to be green, which is not what you want. So like I said, you cannot do the green blue screen and crop it unless you do it the way that I have just said. So now I'm gonna go ahead and change it back to the green blue screen. You can see that the background has gone away. It's more transparent. You can also rotate your overlay here. And if you wanted to do that, you could, but that's not what I'm trying to do here. I'm just showing you, yes, you can do this. And now I'm gonna bring down those edges all the way and I'm gonna have it be on the left-hand side as much as possible. Then I made a new subscribe button just for funsies. And basically there is a mouse click on this one that happens. You can get that sound from the YouTube audio library as well as it's built into the audio library in iTunes. So you just add the mouse click in it, export it as a movie file, and then pull it into any of your movie files as a whole unit. That is the easiest way that you can do that inside of iMovie. You can always go back to Keynote, like I said, resize things there and export it again and have another video file made. Okay, now that that's done, I'm just gonna go ahead and show you both of my examples of my subscribe button. And that's it. It's really that simple. I hope you were able to follow along. If not, don't worry. Go back and watch this video again and I swear you will get it. And if you guys enjoyed this video, please give it a thumbs up and consider subscribing to my channel. Would love to have you be part of the squad. As always, I hope you guys are doing so awesome. I'll see you in next week's video. Bye.